For this week's lads scram, we took the trip down to Walkden Salford to visit Exotica Fusion. By the name, a few of the lads got excited thinking we was going to a gentleman's club, but no, as you can see, it was definitely a kebab shop. Nice open kitchen, everything done in front of you. Kebabs done better, we'll see about that. Loving the open kitchen, no dungeon at the back like some places where you can't see what's going on. Tunes were absolutely popping off mate, it was like a nightclub in there. We've even got our own custom forks now because we don't like the plastic or wooden ones a lot of places provide for us. Man like Pete, man like Matt. Get in the boys! Fucking fantastic that ain't it. The menu here is amazing. I'm glad they was doing us a massive feast of everything because it would have been hard to choose. Unreal. We need some places like this in Tameside. This gaff, you can just tell before it even that is mega. Nice drink selection there. No Rubicon Mango, but some very good replacements. Cheers to the boys. Don and meat there in the wok being stir fried with the signature sauces. Can't wait to try this. <laughs> That's a proper elephant's leg, innit? None of this fake bucket donner. So here we had, we had some testers while the food was being made. They brought out some lamb chops, spicy on the left and normal on the right. So first of all, I tried the spicy lamb chops. Bit of me of this. Wow, as you can tell from my face, really enjoyed them. I'm a lamb chop lover. These were just the standard ones. I have lamb chops everywhere. And these were some of the best I've had. The 30 minute drive is well worth it just for these lamb chops alone, wow. Next of all, we was treated to these te a taste bud sensations. Can't even get my words out, I'm that excited. It was Donkey Dick aka Seat Kebab wrapped in cheese and a nice lovely fluffy bread and wow, never tasted anything like it before, could have just had about 50 of them to be honest, didn't want it to end, yeah so the boys were loving these. Proper elephant's leg that in it, look at them nice thin strips of donna, wow just how we like them. So the next tester, they brought us out this 100% Donner meat. I don't think anywhere else does this in Greater Manchester. If they do, please let me know. Wow, what a difference between that and the normal Donner. It was like, just amazing. It reminded me of the meat of the lamb chops. You could have it on a Sunday dinner with mint sauce. It was absolutely beautiful, proper meaty. Absolutely loving it. So there on the right is a normal donner, and then on the left is a 100% meat lamb donner. Well, here's a normal one. Matty just showing us how meaty the actual 100% one is. Lamb one, normal one is okay, but 100% lamb one, yes, that is a one. Faisal were clearly enjoying it. Go on, lad. Forgot to use my fork and then I remembered why am I getting about with greasy hands when I've literally got a man like Pete Fork. So here it is, here's the massive feast. Can I just say I was not prepared for this amount of food. We had Donna in the bad boy sauce, spicy Donna, chicken tikka mixed with Donna. We had the barbecue Donna, naan breads, salads. About four portions of chips, all different salads, bit of curries in there. Woo! About five different rices. I know there was four or five of us, but this was going to be a massive task. Man versus food or what? Can I just say though, it was all absolutely beautiful. Every single bit of it was delicious and it was like the taste of the UK and Asia all in one all the dishes was amazing I highly recommend getting down there just to try any of this they do all these different boxes with all these different flavors in but we got a bit of keema on there Whew. Donner and chips we had everything 
Here's the first plate, I just got everything I could on there. Had about three plates all together, all four of us. Faisal's got a nut allergy, so they made him something on his own, but wow, we was getting through it and it was like just not going down, you know, when you're getting really full. We had all them starters as well and we was like, wow, we're gonna have to take a lot of this home. Buzzing though, because it's gonna do us a few days, but wow, what a scran. This place is so busy. Look how much meat they've got to cook at once. Phones are popping off non-stop. Service is impeccable. By far the best service we've had. And we get a lot of good service. Faisal with a cup of tea and everything. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. This is what we got to take home. We got two full boxes each. Enough to feed the street, mate. <laughs> they was jam-packed with good tasty food. Wow. Exotica Fusion. Well done, guys. What a performance. Whew. Get down to Salford and give him a I try. All right, boys, we can all see. We are. That was the best lad scran ever. Look at all this. Yeah. Well and truly stuffed. <laughs> best hospitality we've had. Do us a three days at no problems. <laughs> Come down to Salford for a fat scran. I'm with Faisal, Ryan, Matty, that was the man. <laughs> Exotica Fusion, what are you saying? Games, you know we're not playing. <laughs> Get yourselves down to Exotica Fusion in nowhere better than Salford. <laughs> Best place about. We've got matching tracksuits. <laughs> we're all, them bot. We're all stuffed. Grand. Best hospitality we've had all the time. Like <laughs> and, hands down to the owners. <laughs> Absolute. Can't can't be can't more, nothing more can be said. Absolutely. <laughs> Lean and bop. We're not leaning and bopping now. We're all absolutely stuffed, full of absolutely the greatest food. No messing. Bosh.